increasing your power level in Marvel's Avengers is pretty straightforward for those that had the game since launch or have been playing since before the November 2021 Spider-Man update. The grind is pretty straightforward. You're trying to increase your gear, which has a score, and you're trying to get that to the max level. So the old power level cap was a 150. It's currently 175. You get to that level by having all of your gear combined and that is how it calculates the power level. So if you're 150, that means all of your gear is 140 and then you have a major artifact and that is plus 10 that gets you 150. So if you were say going to be a 175 character, then that means all your gear is an average of 165 and then the plus 10 gets you to 175. So in order to increase your power level is pretty much a similar process as before to get to 150. Getting a 150 is basically discarding gear that doesn't matter because it doesn't until you hit 150. Once you hit 150, that's when you start looking for gear for your builds. But until then, it's pretty disposable. Uh, the most efficient way to increase gear, your power level for a new character, is to purchase gear from the vendors. You're going to buy the highest slot piece and you're going to equip it and then discard the rest. And you're going to do that over and over again. The gear vendors refresh, but you can speed it along if you can change the date and time on your system which you can do on PlayStation pretty easily by closing the game, turning off your internet connection, changing the date and time forward, and then you go back into the game, but you do it under the reassemble campaign or War for Wakanda. You have to have one of those completed, otherwise it won't work. Pretty straightforward. You can open chests, you can buy gear from the vendor, that will increase your power level pretty fast. Now, once you hit 150, if you wanna get beyond 150, then you have a few options. You can do the raid, which rewards you with superior gear, same with the Omega level threat, that rewards you with superior gear, superior gear, superior gear once per week per character will allow you to increase your power level past 140 by equipping gear that will drop higher than 40. So if you have a piece that you want to upgrade, you're going to do that using the new system. So for example, if I have this piece, it's 140. If I get a piece that's 142, I can either keep the 142 piece or I can just simply consume it. I want to consume this piece. I want it to be 142. So I'm going to select it. It's going to tell me how much it costs. And then boom, it's 142. The piece is gone. That's how the upgrade system works. You can only get superior gear from either the raid, the OLT, or the events. The current event is the Red Room Takeover. These events end every two weeks and they reward superior gear. Some of these events reward more superior gear than others, but you will walk away with superior gear for all of your characters. And you can use that to level up to eventually get to 175. Now, once you hit 160, only the elite raid and the events will give you superior gear that will actually increase your power level. So once you hit 160, you can't get a power level increase from the normal raid or the OLT anymore. You can only use the elite raid or the events. So once again, 160 elite raids and events before that, you can do normal raid, you can do OLT, and you can do the events. Doing all that will eventually get you to 175, which is the current power level cap. Now, in terms of, of hero level, your hero level is of course related to your skills. You start at one, you get up to 50. Getting to 50 will unlock skills. And once you hit 50, that's when the champion system kicks in. Most of the champion system isn't worth putting points in, but if you're going to do that, these are the only trees that matter. Increasing your level this way requires you to get XP. And there are a couple XP farms that are the most efficient. The one that is most popular is Up From The Depths. It is Black Widow's iconic mission. And it's pretty straightforward. It's the one that people have used to increase their XP really quickly. And I'll show you how to do it real quick. But if you don't have Up From The Depths because you completed it, it will disappear from the map since patch 2.3. If you complete Up From The Depths, it will disappear from the map. But there is another XP farm that is arguably even better that you can do in this place. But this is how you do the Up From The Depths farm, you are going to be killing an adaptoid and then you're going to be reloading the checkpoint. That's it. That is essentially the best way to gain XP, kill a high level enemy and reload the checkpoint. And you can make it go even faster if they have like a triple XP kind of promotion going on, but you can also use your consumable and that will give you a boost to your XP. But the farm is pretty straightforward. You go up here, there's the adaptoid. It is an elite enemy. You set off your abilities. Kill the Adaptoid, he's dead. See, I just gained some XP. Reload checkpoint, rinse and repeat. You wanna do it pretty quickly because otherwise you will not be able to load back into this part and you'll have to advance to, to the next part of the mission and you'll have to do it over again. So once again, 
destroy him. I usually wait until I see it, the XP gain. I see the XP gain and then reload checkpoint. And that is the farm. But there is another one that you can do. A couple of people have posted about it already. There's a third one, but I'll just talk about the one that, that people are using right now. It is basically using the villain sector instead, but it's the same principle. You're going to be killing an elite enemy and you're going to be reloading the checkpoint. This method takes longer than the up from the depths to set up initially, but once you already set it up, it's pretty good. So we just want to load in here real quick. All right, so this one's pretty straightforward. We're going to fly across the map and we're going to go to this first set of elite enemies. These aren't the ones that you're going to be farming. You're going to be farming the elite enemy that is inside. So you want to kill them pretty quickly. Once they're dead, you move on inside to the elevator and this is going to take you to where the farm actually starts. As you can see, by comparison, this takes a lot longer to set up than the up from the depths, but you get a lot of XP so you can uh, kill these enemies this will give you additional XP. I'll just pop them real quick. It's two waves of enemies, kill them pretty easy. But here's the main one. There's going to be an elite enemy here. This time it is a adaptoid. So we pop off, kill him. He did. Reload checkpoint. We got our XP and we're starting in the hallway, as you see, and we can do it all over again. Pop that first wave, go to the adaptoid, pop off, kill him. Get the XP, reload checkpoint, rinse and repeat. So those are the two best ways to gain XP in Marvel's Avengers. And once you hit level 50, you can farm this in order to increase your champion level. And that's pretty much all there is to it.